Coach, 41 points this week compared to 14 last week. In your opinion, what was the biggest difference between the offense against Southern Utah and what you what you saw against Sam Houston? Um, less mistakes. I, I think we had one uh, mistake show up that would happen last week. You know, the uh, ineligible receiver just didn't line up in the right formation. Uh, and that, that's on us. That's on me as a coach. Got to get our guys to making sure that we don't make the same mistakes again. So that better not show up next week. But um, very fixable. I think once the guys were able to settle down and just do their, their job, I think things got it a lot, a lot easier for us to have success. But uh, you have to give a lot of credit to Southern Utah. They made, I mean, they, Coach Fitzgerald, he does a great job of getting them play hard. They, they gave a, a ASU a run for their money last, last week. So we knew they were going to come in ready to play this game. It's an in-state game. So uh, we know a lot of the kids that play on their roster. But uh, just fortunate we were able to get the win. We saw some really good things that we can build on. Thought the improvement from week one to week two was really nice, but now we got to make another improvement from week two to week three and get ready to go on the road. So it's going to be a lot of fun for us. As you look at the entire performance of your football team, not just the offense, and the offense has been under some scrutiny for sure, but how would you rate the overall performance in all three phases of the game today? Yeah, I thought there was some good complimentary football. I think uh, you know, um, special teams came up big for us in the punt, team, punt game. Marcus McKenzie continues to make plays and, and, and cover. Um, we were able to get some turnovers, but um, you know, we also left a lot of plays out on the field on, on, on defense. I know uh, Jay's not not excited about um, the overall performance, but I mean, I'm, I I like the fact that we were able to get some young guys some reps, and uh, even after getting you know driven on and scored, they were able to come back and, and force the turn, uh, force the, uh, the the punt. So that that's good stuff we can build off of. Uh, and special teams, you know, obviously we missed the PAT. That's not good, but. We'll fix it, and, um, and I thought the cover teams did a great job. Uh, we we we, can see, we need to f take advantage of the returns, and we'll see what happens. I thought the kick return we got a good spark from from Parker on the return, and uh, just you know overall I think um, the, the all three phases were clicking a lot better. They we still need to improve uh, in all three phases, and, and uh, in order for us to have uh, where we want to be, be where we'll have the success that we we imagine us having. Having. What did you see from your quarterback today, Keaton Slovis, that encouraged you the most, especially bouncing back from week one to, to week two? Well, he looked comfortable. Uh, obviously, he's got his third rushing touchdown, so he doesn't mind running the ball now. But uh, I think the key is we've got to keep him, keep him up. Because if we can keep him up and throwing the ball, he's, he's really dangerous. And uh, the interception came on a hit, you know, so uh, that's the goal. It's for us to keep him, keep him up and let him make the throws and then find ways to, to balance it out with the run game. Yeah, let's speak about the run game. What's the key to getting that thing going behind a veteran offensive line? Yeah, it's everybody doing their job, and and that that that's the running back to the to the blocking, uh, you know, the line of scrimmage with the O line, tight ends and the receivers. I was really pleased with the receivers blocking downfield. That's why we were spring some big plays, um, but uh, we still need to improve on that. We we need to find a way to to run the ball and keep keep a, a defense on on their heels. Coach, congratulations on another win and a two and zero start. We're looking forward to Arkansas next week. Away we go. Thanks. Go Cougs. Love you guys.